CVTV is Cumberland Valley's biggest news station, bringing daily student news to over 2,000 students, staff, and administrators. Given their size and popularity, today I'm going on a mission to look beyond the show and take a look at the people who make it happen. This is a day in the life of CVTV. And guiding you through this process is myself. I'm Teddy from CVTV. Let's take a look. Every day when class starts, it's time to debrief with Mr. Bomboy. We'll walk through the script for the day, the videos playing, upcoming events, current projects, and more. Everyone pays attention to find out what needs to happen and how we get there. Let's take a look at a few key moments that I picked up on today. We won't know what the weather is like today, so no it's weather. Be nice week and then it's gonna rain on prom. <laughs> now, uh, Sean Hopkins, you're on the message board. I do want Caroline to show you the new way that we do that with notes in the slides for when we take those off, okay? Tomorrow we'll run this uh, this volleyball on the spot, right? Sound is awesome and it's timed really well and just really, really great, Caroline. That's the way to do it. It's awesome. I think I'm just getting the hang of it because I can't do it. Like, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So. Um, great job, great job. So don't forget, my friends, uh, that are filming the band concert tomorrow night. This is going to be kind of a low-end production. I actually don't need three of you. Does anybody want to bail on this? We're setting up one camera. It's just for the band. We've already done stuff. Uh, Ryan, Kevin, and Sean Ross. Does anybody want to bail? All right, our script looks pretty good today. Uh, let me get to the agenda here. Year four, Sean Ross. I still do not have that PSA. No, it's not. I checked a minute ago. We gotta work together so I can see it. Okay. Unhealthy. And you, that's what I'm getting through right now. Dakota, you are. Fin you know what you're doing. You're finishing that up, right? Tell your question. Um. I forgot. <laughs> As you've probably picked up on, there's a lot that we prepare at the start of every class. This particular day was Monday, so we had a lot of extra things from the weekend to discuss. The start of class is also a great opportunity, seen here, to ask questions and get help from Mr. Bomboy or your peers with projects and other work. After our initial debrief, the second stage of class begins, the learning. After we start and debrief class, it's time for the real work to begin. Apart from heavy learning at the first year level, progress and work and projects in CVTV is mostly self-directed, while Mr. Bomboy is available to help and answer questions. Here, we see Ryan working diligently on editing a news story. Now let's take a look at some highlights from today's learning. Mr. Bomboy will be teaching sound design, and Michaeli is working on her weather segment. rotating air that touches the ground and is usually attached at the base of a thunderstorm. They are considered some of nature. Editing a documentary that I'm doing for CV9. And right now I'm basically, I got two interviews with two people who are in charge of uh, CV9's development and I'm putting their interviews together. Uh, and I'm also praying that as soon as I make a change it doesn't take more than four minutes to re-render the entire project. Uh, makes sense. Open. I'm waiting for mine to open here. Let's stop the talking, please, and pay attention up here. I'm going to start talking about EQ today. Are you guys familiar? Who's familiar with equalization? Okay, so EQ is basically, you know, you've probably seen this on a car stereo or maybe on your own stereo. The highs and the lows, or sometimes the bass and treble, right? And you can hear the difference between these. Um, so equalization balances frequencies within an audio recording. It's very important. You should always EQ everything you always, anything you ever record, okay? It can be done before the sound is recorded, and then it can also be adjusted further in post-production. In addition to just showing you what's happening, I'll have some students tell you about it. I sat down with first year Kate, second year Dakota, and third year Sean to tell you about their experiences of learning in this class. Um, so most of the stuff we're learning is like basic camera movements, basic movements and cameras in general, just basic camera things, which 
Granted, if you really should know, especially if, even if you're not a photographer, it's great to know these things. That way you can make your family photos even look much better and much more alive. So as a year two in CBTV, I mostly do on the spots for sports. Um, the most recent ones I've done were Homecoming, uh, the Powder Pop game, and as well as Boys Varsity Basketball. And I've had a lot of fun doing those. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was learning a lot on After Effects and um, learning a motion camera on that, which was also really fun. So After Effects is a program that we use for to make videos and a lot of um, cool animations for the class and I've enjoyed a lot of my time on it even though it can be quite difficult to use sometimes. <laughs> so I'm in year three which means that all year threes go spend that all I'm in year three which means that all year threes are going to make a documentary. Uh, they can make it on any topic they want but it has to be within reason obviously. So for mine uh, I'm making a documentary on CV9. I want to talk a little bit about the development and kind of what's happened after it's come out. I want to tell a story of what it's like to kind of take on such a big process, especially in the public eye of uh, parents of students. I think it's something that it's worth talking about. And so that's what I'm making mine on. Uh, aside from that, year threes and fours in CBTV usually have a little bit more work to do. Uh, year twos, especially with Dakota this year, I would say also is take a little, on a little bit more work. Uh, than what uh, people who are just getting into class would have to do. This includes on the spots, uh, higher level roles for uh, important events that we're doing, such as uh, thon events, or maybe this year we did something with uh, homecoming. And so usually it's more of the more difficult roles as well as some extra work, such as also PSAs. This is just a small snapshot of what students do every day in the class. There's really a lot that goes on in preparing the videos and projects seen on CVTV every day. In addition to learning and making videos, we still have the actual CVTV show to prepare, which takes us to the fun part of class, preparing CVTV. I sat down and spoke to a few students in the class about their experience and how they prepare the daily morning show. Let's see what they have to say. So I'm a year one and I decided to take it because Bomb Boy said I would do good. And I just decided, okay, that's cool. So I just do random jobs that I'm assigned other than producer work, which is writing scripts, doing, um, making sure the shows are called, making sure everything runs smoothly and just fanning and making sure the fire is not too hot during that day. Sometimes it gets pretty hot. So normally because of my producer work, I normally do most of the jobs behind the, behind the scenes. So I do most of the jobs then. And one of them is calling shows. Uh, show calling is where I'm making sure everything runs smoothly and working to make sure everything runs smoothly. And the other job I do is studio producing, which is I just sit here and make sure everything runs smoothly out in the studio. So most of it is just not freaking out. Just don't freak out because it's nerve wracking, especially being a first year and not knowing anything about what I'm doing and just going with the flow. It's probably one of the things that I have to work on and work harder at just making sure I'm not questioning everything, including myself, because that's when I normally slip up. I chose to take CVTV because, so in eighth grade, I was in the student council and we did the morning announcements every day. And I actually really enjoyed working the camera and um, it was course selection time. And I was like, oh, well, since I really enjoy doing the morning announcements, and so I decided to take CVTV. My top three jobs that I mostly do are technical director, pro presenter on YouTube Live, as well as switcher, and also a little bit of anchor as well. So for technical director, basically that job is basically the main one of CVTV. That's the most important job I would say. So technical director, you add the graphics and the titles for all the announcements and make sure that all the videos have loaded in. So the day-to-day -day in CVTV can be different uh, for a lot of people. For me as a year three, um, most weeks I am working on my documentary in class for about 40 minutes or so. We are not 40, 
For, for me, I spend about 30, 35 minutes working on my weekly updates for my documentary. This includes storyboarding or coming with ideas or getting in contact with people I want to interview. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, it's getting ready for the show. For me, I prefer to work more in the studio, specifically with teleprompter or getting the cameras ready, the occasional anchoring. Uh, and so that usually takes about five, 10 minutes to prepare. And then there's the actual show that's going on and that'll take up the rest of the class period. So with a teleprompter, we have, a, we have to put in a script. There are two scripts for CBTV. There's the one that the control room uses. It tells them which graphics to put up, uh, what's gonna be going where for uh, specifically who's talking. With the studio script that you're putting into the teleprompter, it's just saying who is talking and what exactly they are saying. So that includes downloading the text file for the script. Then that is putting that into the script uh, engine that kind of works as a teleprompter that kind of slides up. And what you're, all you're doing is you're loading the text in, you're formatting it correctly, and then once it's showtime, you are uh, scrolling up to the speed at which uh, the anchors are, are talking. You also want to make sure that um, there's no spelling issues or grammatical issues. Sometimes there's confusing names that we'll uh, look at ahead of time to make sure the anchors know how to pronounce. They still don't know always how to pronounce them, but that's all right. It's the thought that matters. So my name is David Emmerich. I am a year four student. I am the producer this year. So the reason I actually took the class is because uh, before I even knew about CBTV, I knew my brother took it uh, back when he was in high school. And I always thought that was super cool because uh, I got involved with making videos in middle school when uh, teachers would assign uh, projects. I would always make videos and my uh, love of video making actually grew. And uh, I wanted more excuses to make videos and I thought a good excuse would be to join a class where I would explicitly make videos that the whole school could see. So the way I make the show run smoothly is I first want to get everyone on a, everyone on a basis that they know what they're going to do for the show. So we all have a goal in mind. I think that's very important whenever uh, doing any project is you want to have everyone on the same script to make sure everyone uh, knows the goal that they're trying to accomplish. And in CBTV, the fun part about the class is that Every day comes new challenges and new struggles, but the fun part about it is, is that everyone in the class is always on one goal and that's to make the show run smoothly and operate. So I think even as a producer, I don't need to know everything. I just need to know how to find the solution, which is a very good goal in life for a lot of solutions, not just for uh, the TV studio in general. Always knowing what questions to ask is very important when troubleshooting. And another uh, studio job I like very much even though I can't do it a lot, is anchoring. Because I feel like anchoring, uh, it's a good way to express yourself. It's a good way of public speaking uh, because you're public speaking in front of the entire school. And that's a very important skill in life that I think uh, we don't uh, get to train a lot in high school. But I feel like being in CBTV, you don't think about public speaking as a uh, way you can train, but it very much so is. And that I would encourage people who do struggle with public speaking, like I was in middle school, to take the class so they can further uh, train that skill. Now that we have an idea for just a few of the many pieces that go into making the daily CVTV show, it's time for the best part of our day, running the actual show. We've already debriefed with Mr. Womboy, learned some content, and even made some content. We've prepared the show, and now it's time to put it all together. During the show, we have about 13 people working 10 different jobs to ensure that everything runs smoothly. Once our show is over, our day is complete, and we can leave class, feeling good and ready to eat lunch. Good morning, CB. Today is Monday, March 7th, 2022. I'm Justin. And I'm Sean. Please rise for the Pledge of the Flag. At 4 p.m., classes will start for the day, and many down will commence. Entire school and registered members of CB9 will experience the return of our annual pep rally. At the 3 p.m., only registered students will experience the rest of many down, including our big reveal at 10 p.m. Find the link to register in school and school updates or on CV Mini Down social media. If you would like to stay at the 3 p.m., you must register. Day registration will be available. All right, that's what a day in the life of CVTV looks like. Thanks for watching this documentary and following along this year. Have a good one.